Once logged into Trade Simple, click on Market List under Catalogues. Any market list already created and available will be seen here. To create a new one, click on Create at the bottom of the screen. First, give your market list a name, and then choose whether the market list will be public, everyone at your location will be able to use it, or private, which means only you will see it. You then need to decide whether you want to create an empty market list or a market list from a full catalogue. When you are done, click on Create. The new market list will now be visible with the others. Next, click on Browse Catalogues and then choose your catalogue by clicking on the magnifying glass. Click onto the category and then find the products you wish to add to your market list. Click onto the product and then from the drop down select your market list. Click on Add to Market List. You can then click on Return to Previous Page and add another product from that catalogue. If you have lots of products within each catalogue, don't forget to use the Search section. Type in the name or part of the name of the product and click Search. This will then pull back any relevant products. Click onto the product and again add it to your market list in the same way. You can also add products from more than one supplier to your market list if you return to the catalogue list and select a different catalogue. Find the product and add it to your market list using the same procedure. You can add as many products from as many different suppliers as you want to your market list. Once you have added all of your products to your market list, you can click back on market lists under catalogues. You will now see your market list has the status requires update. To do this, simply click on F5 to refresh the page. Now, when you click on Market List, the status will display Active. You can amend your market list at any time by clicking on the Spanner icon. You can add labels to the list by clicking on the L icon at the end of the product. This will allow you to enter a description and is a good way of splitting out your market list into sections. Click on Save Changes at the bottom to confirm the labels. You can also delete any products from your market list by clicking on the bin icon. This will cause the product to be removed. The other amendment you can make is the order of your market list. Simply click onto the product and drag it into a new position. This will allow you to structure your market list in the way that will make ordering easiest for you. Once you have made all amendments to your market list, you can save changes and it will now be ready to order from. Click on the magnifying glass which is the first icon at the end of your market list. You can then enter a default quantity and use the copy default functionality if you are going to always order the same amount of that product. Alternatively, if purchase quantities are likely to vary, enter the amount required in the quantity field. When you are finished entering the quantities, you can update your basket or check out.